I'm Marie. And I work with FAFSA in the DC area. I've been with FAFSA for four years now. As we were preparing for our annual campaign, I took a special liking to the one to support young women in Rwanda. Um, most importantly, because I see myself in them. I'm also a young woman, and so if I was just born in a different place at a different time, this story could also be mine. Uh, in a world of COVID, my life hasn't really been that affected. I mean, I work from home, I don't see as many friends, uh, I can't enjoy some of the luxuries that I used to, such as going out for coffee or going and working out in indoor places. But if anything, I've actually saved some money by being contained to my home. But when I was reading about these young women's lives, I was really shocked and struck about how difficult life is for them. Already, they struggle to make ends meet. They live in poor conditions. Many of them are single moms, and so they have to take care of a child or two. And then they also live with family, and so they also are responsible to bring food to the table for the family. And then now with COVID, having a job and making money is almost impossible. And so I knew that I wanted to help one of them. And in seeing their faces, I see my friends, I see my sisters, and I see myself. And so in giving a little, I know that that can make a world of a difference. With my support, and then your support through AFSI, these women will learn new skills. They will learn how to uh, save money from the profit that they've made. They will be, to buy, be able to buy food for themselves and for their families. And so, but most importantly, they'll learn how to make decisions and be the main character of their lives. Uh, something that you and I can do much easier uh, from our home. Please send our gratitude to our sponsors. Thank them for holding our backs during this tough period of this global pandemic. I still thank AFSI. May God keep you safe in all of your work. You have remembered us. You made us feel good. May God bless you. The message we would give you is that we thank you in the name of these children. I would like to thank them for their great contribution in my studies, because by the time schools reopen, I wouldn't remember anything due to the long time without studying. In this area, we are grateful to AFSI and the donors, who have helped our community out of loneliness, and to this day, we are happy. Young mothers still need uh, accompaniment, support, psychological and social, as well as economic support. We need more support from FC donors to be able to take care of children under the age of two years old. Also, we need caregivers who have advanced skills to take care of these children under the age of two years. 